Welcome back to you live. We're joined by Duncan Grieve, who is, uh, has brought in two very interesting things for us. Oh, I'm sorry, that was a really bad intro. I really apologise for that. That's um, all right. I didn't think it They are good. things, but they could I mean, be yeah. described differently. It's, it's the end of a long week. I oh, know, it's, it's a Friday. Um, no, we've got uh, a video to watch, a video that we haven't ever played on the show. Uh, which is, just, just shows good taste and judgment <laughs> that, that you've managed to refrain yourself. Potentially. Now, refrain yourselves until now. Now, uh, I always like making puns about your last name. You have a grievance. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> I really do, though. Yeah, in this yeah. instance, <laughs> it's both a pun and kind of has some relationship to the topic about to be discussed. Okay, who is it uh, aimed towards or uh, about? I find El City to be... Maybe up there with Avalanche City as the most irritating... City in the world. <laughs> yeah, city in the world. Like the city I'd least like to visit, yeah. you know, that I would sort of Both injure both myself to avoid. do not sound to. good. I want to go to an Avalanche City, nor do I want to go to an Owl City. Well, Owls... They're quite brutal. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They're kind of sweet looking when they're rendered in that bags, Nordic... Put a bird uh, on it, yeah. Yeah, totally. But, uh, hey, I'm not going to disagree with you here. Good. Because I, we can just, just bask in our hate uh, for our city. Our city, uh, how many years ago was it when you came with, out with Fireflies? A couple of years ago, right? Oh, is he the Fireflies, yeah, dude? Yes. Oh, screw that guy, man. Yeah. Did you not oh, know that? I didn't you know that. You shuddered, man. Yeah, I, I actually, when I, I mean, just the, the even just the name, this, this overweening cutesiness, this, this idea that the world is, is just perfect and, and shiny. And I mean, the new single is called Good Time, features a video which is just him and Carly Rae Jetson just trotting around like, hey, we're white and we're rich and we're young. The world's amazing, you yeah, know? And yeah. it's just this complete <laughs> uncritical relationship to the world. Like, okay, describing pop music as banal is obviously like kind of a moot point. It's like saying, oh man, there's a lot of crosses in this church. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, the best pop music always brings a little new wrinkle to the table, whereas I feel like his just sucks everything good and new a bit about the world out of, out of the world. And... Wow, this is a I'm, really... I really, I, I actually think if I could delete one artist from history, it would be Owl City. <laughs> he just goes, he looks like a serial killer to me. Like, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if, if he, he, he was, like, chatting up fans on, like, MySpace or, like, I figure he could still MySpace. be there. He's still, he's still on MySpace. MySpace. He's still on MySpace. He's still on MySpace. MySpace music. And, and then just murdering them when they come <laughs> and come <laughs> He's got that kind of a face. He you know? does. He's, so got, he's, got the, he's got the swoopy fringe as well for mm. that. He's mm. stolen Ben Gibbard's voice from Death Cab for Cutie. Which is really, like, he's stolen the, the, he's stolen the whole style of the postal mm. service. Yeah. Like, that mm. fundamentally is just a bit rude, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't, and he, he's kind of been like, what, in interviews about it. Yeah, I, I did, I made it a hit, you know? He's like the Mitt Romney of, yeah. uh, of global pop music. He's like the kind of guy whose music would just be on bank ads in New Zealand for about 10 <laughs> years. For the rest of yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, Hey, your thoughts on our city? I think we've got a few our city fans out there. Oh man! But, um, <laughs> sort your lives out. <laughs> oh, I'm so. It's, I, I just. I don't know. Why I'm so happy about all this negativity, but it's. it's so, um, we're gonna play the new one from him and Carly Rae Jepsen. Good time. Good time. It's not a good time. <laughs> it's not a good Ter time. It should be called terrible time. Terrible time. But give us your thoughts. Hashtag our city. Do you hate him or do you hate him? Uh, we're talking about Nicki Minaj after this. Good time there from Al City Beat, Kylie Rae Jepsen. Um, Jessica Lay saying this might be the worst song I've heard all day. Duncan was very happy about that. Aliana says, it's an okay song, but it's catchy in a good way, if that makes sense. No. Because no. I feel like... Ca catchy is always in a good way. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah. that's implied. Yeah, yeah. Like. Well, no, but, well, yeah, yeah. It's not catchy, though. It just, it's just emulating a catchy thing. Yeah, right? exactly. It, it does all the things that a catchy like thing a, uh, does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but it just has its gizzards ripped out, <laughs> you know, and its entrails are like bleeding all over the floor. Todd says this time is less than ideal. What this? What this time is less than ideal? Definitely not good time. Right? I should have read. Yeah, I like thing. it. Uh, Sarah Fanny says I love this song. It's we'll probably be deleting that from the TriCaster. Uh, what about Carly Rae? I love Carly Rae. She is, she's a, she's a nice kid, but there's Wholesome not a lot, Canadians. that's the other thing. You look up, there's not much Carly Rae in that, you know? This no. was billed as Carly Rae's new single. It's really not, it's Elle City's new single. Yeah. Which we wouldn't have cared about if it no. wasn't for Carly Rae. So that's no. almost a big black mark against her. He's you like would... the cool, uncool, un older brother. 
who just wants to be like you know who yeah. wants to who the cool be younger the brother has to bring along because the parents are like we can't say that he's not as cool as you because he's your older brother but he isn't so just take him to the party yeah exactly and you were right like I don't often like suggest people that look like serial killers why well, do actually quite a lot but he does. He's like it. legitimate and also like quite a modern type of serial killer, the, the serial killer that social media yeah. kind of facilitated. Look like the prequel to Friday the 13th. Um, so, uh, so your thoughts on our city, a lot of you are, uh, are like our city, so like our city, uh, but perhaps if you think about it, if you really think about it, maybe you don't. Um, <laughs> I, I would recommend thinking about it until you don't. <laughs> or looking at his face until you realise what it contains. A picture of Adam Young yeah. just for hours. Uh, okay, let's move on uh, to, another, to another pop thing. Uh, Nicki Minaj, she's a person who's coming from New Zealand actually, isn't she? Yeah, she announced this week and I'm, the, I'm honestly beyond gutted that uh, I fly to sunny Spain the, uh, on the afternoon of the day that she's playing. And it, you mean yeah. that as well. It's pretty hilarious. I'm well, like yeah. legit, like I'm, I've got this history of, of flying out on the day, like twice I missed Fall Out Boy, I think I've already mentioned on the show, like I really like Fall Out Boy. Oh my gosh, I was talking about Fall Out Boy the other day, I went to see them when they played the Trust Stadium. Yeah, that's the one I, that, well, it's one of the ones I missed and it sounded like such a great show. It was great. Yeah, covering Akon and oh, Michael Jackson. It was amazing. Green yeah. Day. Did they play Dance Dance? Of course they did. Awesome. Of course they did. Pete Wentz did his little weird bass dance mm. thing. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, uh, Nicki Minaj. Yes. You're missing out on her, unfortunately. With, uh, with support from Tiger, which I know. Oh. Yeah. Rick City Chick. Rick, yeah. Rick City Chick. That's, that's the best. That's right. Amazing. Play yeah. that after Nicki Minaj, please. Um, yeah. I really love that song. It uses the the, uh, the melody from Motto right, though. Yeah. Rick City. It does. It's similar beat. It's, it? It is. It's so well, similar. it's not as similar as what it is to Whisper Song. Oh, okay. From from back in my day. Right, right, right. You guys are like 12. Um, okay, so Nicki Minaj. Uh, now, what were we talking about about her? What, what okay, what I, what I think, I think Nicki Minaj is... Like, what I love about hip-hop, just, just to take a step back, is that it has this kind of cycle of creative destruction. You know, that there is always a greatest... At any given time, there's a greatest MC in the world. It's really clear who it is and they last like nine months until someone goes and takes it away from them. And because it is such a kind of a macho culture, um, it's always been a man. I mean, there've been great female MCs, you know, we were talking about it off, off air, like, you know, Lauren, Lauren Hill, Missy Elliott, uh, Eve, uh, there have been like dozens. And, and there they're always are, and there's just never been the best and I almost think the system was set up to try and prevent that happening mm -hmm. the system mm -hmm. um, but you know Nicki Minaj has been it. I think since as, as you suggested Tim that verse on Monster where she just it's like basically every the last five best MCs in the world and then Nicki Minaj comes in this fresh face and just destroys it for like two minutes yeah. um, and so she she establishes that and then goes yeah I kind of want to be really rich and really famous as well <laughs> as the best MC in the world so I'm gonna do Pop music mm -hmm. and pop music right now is disgusting, like bam, 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 Gwetta music. Weird. It's Gwetta, and yeah. and what I like is that she she had to do that. I think just to get where she wants to be, to get that kind of freedom that goes with that. Mm -hmm. She did it, but she doesn't take it too seriously. You can see on a song like Come in a Cone or uh, you know, or basically kind of any of the songs on, on the album, like she just kind of wobbles her mouth around, like stop, starts saying raggedy stuff, like she's like like a little kid who's, you know when a little kid sings along to a song they get bored and they start singing something else yeah, yeah, and yeah. just making up crazy words? That's what Nicki Minaj does. I feel like I need to listen to more Nicki Minaj because the only kind of stuff I'm ex I experience is, is, is blooming like Where the Girls At and like that weird steampunk David Guetta one, <laughs> mm. that was the weirdest thing ever. Um, but no, I didn't really, I mean, I, I do agree though, when you hear her on a verse, on like a song, you're like, she's actually got a very, in, like, at least she's got an interesting and distinctive style. Like, that's like a, I don't know, it's a bloody good thing, isn't it? Well, it is, and I, I think what she's done is kind of, she took, like at the end of uh, Stupid Hoes, she says, you know, I am the female Wheezy, and that's exactly where she started, you know, which, uh, which is words for the sake of words. It's a very kind of psychedelic, approach to it, but she added this, that crazy vocal manipulation mm -hmm. stuff um, and really took kind of, you know, I think, I think elements of Lil Wayne's style and, and just, just kind of updated it for an era where rhythm was a lot more important. Um, but she also, she's like slightly super intelligent. Some of her allusions and references are, are quite literary and... Yeah, actually, I was reading about that. It was, it was um, 
some reason on a Wikipedia page, some of the stranger references she makes in her rap. Yeah, like, and you, you're like, you hear them and you're like, hang on, you're a lot smarter than you're letting on. And, you know, the fact that I think she can play two or three different levels, um, and she has that like vicious rage in her, and, <laughs> and it's I just I find her in a, a, like a, as a person to exist in the music scene as this kind of mad kind of African American analog to Lady Gaga, yeah. but but a lot more kind of dangerous. Like you, I, yeah, I've always seen her as a pop product, but really perhaps she's just playing the game to. Playing the game, I'm talking about. Yeah, that's, that's pretty but much it. I think you it know, is. She's getting yeah. to a position where people are actually hearing her music. I don't know. Well, like, the big question, though. Are Nikki's hips real? <laughs> I, uh, well, watching that Sasha's video, I don't see how that could be real, mm. but maybe it is. I I'm think it, sure. I think they're real. You reckon? They're and they're maybe. spectacular. <laughs> to <a> quote Frank. <laughs> <time. laughs> um, Do you play Starships or, or Super Bass? I, super bass of course. Yeah, Starships is just—it's not a good song. Well, it's a good intro. It's yeah. not a good song. Well, some. Was Super Bass done by uh, uh, Lord, Stargate? No, the. I think it might have been. Um, might have been. Esther Dean and Stargate. Esther Dean and Stargate. Who write everything. All the good songs. Yeah. yeah. But um, it's it's an amazing song. And it was a song. It was 2011, right? 2010, I think. 2010? Yeah. It's oh, been yeah. A while. 2010, right? Yeah. Yeah, Stargate. It was Stargate. Two uh, was Norwegian Stargate. dudes making this tune for Nicki Minaj. Let us know what you think. We've got a couple of comments. Uh, we won't bring them up over the uh, video. But, uh, Duncan, you should stay and wrap it up after this. I'd know. love to. Uh, check it out. It's super bass. Check it out. I, I, I think you've really kind of. I never was. I was quite ambivalent about Nicki Minaj. Right. Kind of, you know, I liked her songs when. She did them, but I actually want to listen to more of her. Actually, the weird thing is, like, I would wouldn't go out there and say you must buy the Nicki Minaj album. It's a masterpiece because it's <laughs> it's just it's a bit crazy. Yeah. And as as we were saying off here, I, I think there's something quite attractive about that. Like when Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, which again just a crazy bad title. Like, <laughs> oh, what I'm going to do is put out a completely new album, and it's going to sound like it's a bonus disc version yeah. of my first album. <laughs> So she's obviously got really strong opinions, and some of them are very bad. Yeah. You know, and so her management will be trying to contain her because they'll be smart. Yeah. Like they're obviously smart, but she's obviously no. Nope, I'm doing this. I don't care that it's bad. Or I actually think it's good. You yeah. know, I'm that nuts. Yeah. But I think that I'll just put out my second album with the same name as my first one. But um, but I really admire that because I think we live in an era where our stars are micromanaged. They they do what they're told. They might as well just have a hand up there and be just controlled, you know, like they, they're not making decisions off their own back. It's like a, when you see like Katy Perry, yeah. you see this face, but that face is just a face on a stick, you yeah. know, there's like a 45 year old puppet master going doo -doo 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 <laughs> yeah. behind the scenes and you know, you're basically cheering for the puppet master and that's fine as long as you're aware of that. With Nicki Minaj, you're cheering for Nicki Minaj. My gosh, what a... He did the I same thing with Lady Gaga. I, know, I was completely indifferent to Lady Gaga, and now because Duncan's. Like Lady Gaga. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, anyway, thank you so much, Duncan. Oh, I uh, love this. This great, is great. Such, so it's you're so nice for having me. I really like talking about pop music. It's far more interesting than I would have thought. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to go to the break, but uh, after the break, we're going to be wrapping up the show, etc. And I probably will make you play uh, some Shanti. <laughs>